Hey, this is Mike. I'm checking out this Ram 2500 Limited, and um, this is the night video, and it's not really that dark right here, but I think it should be dark enough to kind of show you the different lights on the interior and exterior of the vehicle. So right now, I'm going to I'm pushing the lock button. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. It's a diesel, so it takes a minute for it to, to start up since it's cold. Alright, so now we've got your parking lights on. Here in the front. Let's just kind of see what the, the back looks like. There's a little bit too much light back here because these light pollution lights over here, but you can see they're LEDs. Then you've got the, the tag lights there. Lights there. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And uh, when I unlock it, you can see this light comes on here. When it's real dark, this really helps out with um, you know some some light on the outside of the vehicle. All right. Now uh, let me go ahead and this on automatic. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, put the headlights on. And also the cargo light, which is this button here. So the cargo light illuminates the bed. It shines there. Nothing's changed back here, but let's check out the front. Now the fog lights are on, the projector, halogen projector headlights are on, and the yellow LED accents, those are the, uh, these down here, orange, yellow, whatever, I guess I'm colorblind, I can't really tell what that is, but um, then you've got your, it looks like a big uh, eyeball right here, that's the projector, part of the, the halogen headlight. And then you've got the fog lights there. Now let's see what the turn signals look like. Start in the back. Oh, I thought I turned the turn signal on. Oh, okay. I have to t I have to push. I use a remote start. I have to push the the button there to uh, to activate everything. All right. So now the turn signal. Okay. So it just gets darker and lighter here on the back. And then the LEDs just get lighter and darker and you also have a side marker there on the side mirror All right, so let's go to bright lights Basically it just refocuses uh, the, You've got the I think these are active. I think they move, there's some kind of it refocuses those. It also turns on this other halogen light here to the to the left, right there in the center. And it also turns off your fog lights when you do that. Let me turn the turn it back down because it is near a street. I don't want to blind anybody. All right, so that's pretty much the the exterior of the vehicle. And um, so let me go ahead and start with the RAM boxes for the interior. And uh, you see here, you've got a light on that side. And got a light on that side. And it does a pretty good job of illuminating this, this cargo bin on both sides so that way you don't have much shadows. 
so there's a lot of light coming in external light coming in but I think uh, this is, is pretty accurate pretty ad adequate here is all the way down to the bottom um, it seems to be like it's got some casting light there in the center and all the way to the left and the cargo lights are still on let's take a look here in the back and you can see the handle has a little bit of uh, backlit illumination you also have some illumination there for your power window and down here would help if it wasn't so much light over here but you can see um, it does have like a like a bluish uh, light here that kind of illuminates this part interior lights you've got that one and you've got those up there and uh, you also have some lights underneath the seat you can see the floorboards are very well lit I'll show you what those look like they're actually right here so when I put the seat down it shines down on the floor so you got the floor well illuminated the seats are illuminated with that light which it is only one light so it may cast a shadow yeah it's gonna cast a good shadow on if something's in the way like if something is sitting there but this floorboard light helps out now this is your heater, heated seat controls both of those are backlit you can see the cup holder is pretty good with that center light all right here's the driver's door and you've got your backlit handle here just like the back you also have your your power windows and your power door locks backlit but the side mirrors um, the controls for the side mirrors there's not any light I guess there's a little bit of light coming from this from the handle down to it but it's not really backlit like some of them and I know some some of them are like that some of them have illumination some of them don't I'm not sure what the deal is with that if you know maybe you can let me know so down here we've got some illumination here here in the floorboard Plenty of illumination coming from under here. And then the seats are lit up with these lights here in the center console. So let's go ahead and hop in. Close it up. These lights will dim out. So now so we can see a lot of backlit buttons. The headlights are backlit. And I'm just gonna turn the headlights off so we can don't blind anybody on the road. All the buttons here on the steering wheel have will have uh, some illumination. The gauges are very easy to read, clear, not too bright. I do have the, the dimmer switch all the way up. Um, all, extremely all the way up is turning the interior lights off, but that's right there the next step. There's your 8.4 inch Uconnect screen, and it's, uh, it's pretty bright, you can see it well. And then you've got your four wheel drive controls here, your push button, all this stuff is lit up good. Has all kinds of buttons on this truck. Trailer brake control. And let's see here. Yeah, there's a little light up here that's shining down. Um, and you see that, and it comes down and illuminates this whole area. These cup holders are not, there's no ambient light for these, but you can see they kind of have this light that comes down and kind of illuminates this whole area We're very softly. It's kind of like uh, moonlight, I guess you can say. Um, so when it's dark, really dark out, this would really help out uh, more so because right now it's kind of mixed in with some external lights. I'm going to close the sunroof, maybe that'll help. Yeah, lots of external light coming in from all these poles. Alright. There's a light in there. No light in the bottom glove compartment. Got your some backlit stuff here on the rear view mirror. 
garage door controls, your sliding glass, and these are also tap lights. You can turn them on and off. The visor has mirrors and lights in it. Now let's check out the center console. I lift this up. The SD card, USB, and auxiliary inputs are eliminated. The power supply right next to them is not. Now this lifts up. This one has the CD player and it has some backlit uh, illumination there so you know where to put the CD. But inside here, it's pretty much dark. Um, there's a big open spot here. I'm going to turn the light on just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but there's no light in there. So. I guess you kind of feel your way around in that. Keep getting random flood warnings. I'm not sure what the uh, warning system is going on here locally is messing up or whatever, but it's in all the vehicles. All right. A little bit too much external light to kind of. Um, but I think you get the idea of the backlit um, backlighting on, on the buttons as well as the interior lights. Kind of give you an idea of what you're dealing with at nighttime with one of these trucks. And uh, there is no under the hood light, so um, and so there's not there's not any 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 reason to lift the hood. But anyway, um, just sitting here, there's no without the doors open there's no ambient light in the floorboard either it's just a little bit on the doors and some backlit places and then you've got this this light here so um, some of the vehicles have some ambient light there and the floorboard but this one doesn't but anyway um, I think I've covered just about everything if you have any questions let me know and I'll be glad to try to find out if I don't know and if you have anything to add Maybe you have some experience with a truck like this, and uh, maybe there's some light, uh, there's some lack of light where you would like to have it, and um, maybe you can chime in on that and let us know what you think. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.